Tui Samoa, the first one with the uh, catch, and then Mike Petrie with a kick downfield, picked up and taken by the Kiwis. And that's the fullback. Robbie Robinson had a very good effort against Canada a week ago. Had a try and some nice passes, and Gibson Park wheeling it out of there on the right side, trying to spread it out. The Kiwis early on. A bit sloppy, however, picked up by the United States. Nicely done by Graham Harriman. The kick very quickly, Brian, by the open. U.S. Going back the other way, that's Kurt Baker. Kurt Baker, a star in the sevens, and a very nice first run by him. Back toward the center of the field. Left side of the hooker, Dixon. That one spilled down. Matt Proctor with it. Matt Proctor meets Todd Clever. <laughs> and Crew, Peter Dahl with the takedown. Gibson Park cleans it out. Just a minute in. A good fend and into tackle go the Kiwis. And around the 10 meter line, Gibson Park flat down the line. And Aaron passes by the Kiwis early on, Brian. A little bit of a surprise on that. Yeah, they had numbers on wide too. A very, very bad play by the Maury. Matt Proctor, the one at the bottom of the heat for New Zealand. And now the U.S. A little better position after the poor play by the guys in all black. Well, if the Maori stretch it out wide, they still got some numbers here on the wing. See what they do with it. Off the foot of Robinson, picked up the other way. Adam Sadal, the full oh. for the U.S. Wow! Boy, that looked like a dangerous tackle. I'm, 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 myself, I think Afieki went high. To the left side, the U.S. about 10 meters away from touch. Megan Mutri joining us from the pitch. Megan. This is a very similar start to last week where the Modi came out a bit shaky, and if the Eagles can capitalize, they could put five points up early. They will try off the foot of Lestrange. Going up high and making the grab is Matt Proctor. The U.S. right on him. Well done. Todd Clever, the captain for the U.S., and a whistle. That's line out. They don't contest you. They certainly have to drive the All Black or the Mari All Blacks back. No contest again. Ash Dixon, the toss on the line out. Three. The ball that doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Good job by the United States to repel the movement. Three. Oh, patience comes in, Bill. Oh, now oh. on the back of the way goes Gibson Park for the drive. Boy, we talked about him in a pregame. How shifty is he, huh? He saw that little gap. He made it bigger. What a step. It's too bad for the U.S. Did a great job standing him up. Didn't give up any uh, any meterage. And yet, Gibson Park taking it out of there. Boy, from this angle, you just saw it. Look at the patience. See, there's where the patience comes in. And he saw that little gap. There was nobody. There was Mope, but there was just about a five-meter gap in between that mall and the first U.S. defense. Look at See, we can take a peek right here. See it? Oh, but look at the U.S. player. Caught in the fringe there. Excellent work by the Maori. Sadal trying to cut into the advantage. Oh, he needs to make it. It'd be huge for the confidence. 24 meters away. Yes. Got it. Here is Sadal lining it up. Sells a 7-6 game. Nicely done by the Eagles. Bingo. Yes. Nicely done. Between that scrum and a fly half. West. Uh, and he saw it too, Robbie Robinson. Well done nope. by the Eight captain. Nine. So Tim Bateman. The skipper, all 80 minutes against Canada, and some important ones here. Well, they just went on that big inside groove that we were talking about in between the scrum and the fly half. They created that big gap. And Bateman thought, too, did, so did West. Here's the cutback, and he was able to outdistance and outpace the cover defense by the forwards. Over the line. West to Christie. 13 break it there. Uh -huh. Bateman. Inside is Bateman, get another, puts it down. You know, there's many in New Zealand that think Bateman should be on the All Blacks. I mean, there's a good center contingent in that All Blacks rank, but uh, Bateman's having an outstanding game. 
leading from the front. Here's the skipper. There's the fan, the hands. And there's Bateman. He saw a gap with a couple of steps, and it's easy try. He answers back after playing well against Canada in a victory last week. The captain, Tim Bateman. They played fly half against the Canadians yes. and did well. Scored a try in that game. Now he's got to two today, so uh, leading. That's right. Got a hook to it. Did it get through? It did. That's the crowd. And look at the strategy here. See, Maori, they know they need to win the game. They yep. kicked the three points. They didn't want to take a chance with a line out. They still got to get two scores here. Nope, they're going to do a quick tap. Oh, boy. Can he push it down? Lost feet. Lost feet. You're in the way. No. Great reward by that forward pack. Outstanding play. I'm not sure who down to down. I'm sure we'll see it on a replay, but well done. Shane's uh, Kelly. Uh, well, that's either Pat. Let's take another look. Look at all the hands in there. Look at all the hands in there. There's the penalty. Okay, Hume's going to take the quick tap. Luke Hume if in the middle of all those giants. <laughs> He does well to get that ball back. I'm not sure. I don't know how that ball got back. Where's Sheamus? Dolan's looking in there. Dolan goes over the top and then. Well, he schooled the referee, squirreled around, saw it. There's Sheamus. So I think whoever would try ball there. Zach to Robinson. They work it outside with a man. Over the top. There's a try. The sealer for New Zealand. Mauer. I think that was Katenin. Luke Katene, I think number 19, came in as a reserve. I think he's the one who dotted down, and that is probably going to seal the deal. But unbelievable work by the United States. As we take another look at it, when it's once it got wide, the Eagles were in a lot of trouble because they were so intent on trying to stop that try in close. And they see Katene score that try. Just got in ahead of that tackle by Todd Clever. Yep, to touch this one's over. We'll see. They do. Guilford booms it into the stands, and that'll do it. A great effort by the United States, but it's New Zealand's Maori All Blacks. And the captain, Tim Bateman there, victorious, 29.